By the powers vested in me as Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees, diplomas and certificates with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome our Honorary Doctorate, Professor Ray Tumetze Mavokela, the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees, diplomas and certificates will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year. After we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest, in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole have very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the skills gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. 
Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Investor of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protracted campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you, our graduates, gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will save you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity, and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged, and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent, and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning, where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the University of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Earning qualifications in the time of COVID-19 is in a class of its own. 
you, together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020, are unique. You have succeeded, and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. The graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally, finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We have participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future, with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new world through high-quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni, among whom you, the season's graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the investor Pretoria, and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect Graduate app. 
keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family, whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We are an institution on its way to become a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the honorary doctorate. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I have the honor to introduce to you Professor Ritumetsi Mabukela for the conferment of the degree Doctor of Education Honoris Causa. Professor Ritumetsi Obakeng Mabukela is the Vice Provost for International Affairs and Global Strategy and Professor of Comparative and International Higher Education at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. A South African by birth, she received her Bachelor of Economics from Ohio Wesleyan University, Cum Laude, a Master's Degree in Labor and Industrial Relations, and a PhD in Education Policy Studies, both from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. She has distinguished herself as a leading national and international scholar and researcher in the field of comparative and higher education. Her work has so far demonstrably impacted and indeed advanced the field, and in recognition both United States and across the international community, she has been able to secure well over $30 million of funding over the course of her academic career to support her scholarly endeavors. Professor Mabugela's singularly intellectual contribution to higher education resides in her research focus and interest in which she seeks to understand and document experiences of marginalized populations in institutions of higher education with a view to informing and influencing institutional policies that affect these groups. Her scholarly work centers on three interrelated themes, namely organizational change and organizational culture in higher education, gender in higher education, and higher education in transitional societies. She is the author, co-author, editor and co-editor of seven books, more than 60 scholarly publications in prestigious academic journals of higher education. She has received several awards and honors, which include the Fulbright International Education Administrators Program Award, Best Senior International Officer Academy from Duke University, and the Academic Leadership Program Fellowship. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the honorary doctorate on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree of Doctor of Education Honoris Causa with all the rights and privileges on Professor Ray Tumete Mabokela. I have the honor of requesting our honorary doctorate to deliver their address. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Deans, members of the faculty, and most importantly, graduates. 50 years ago, who would have known that a girl from the dusty streets of a small town in the free state, Tabanchu, would be recognized to receive an honorary doctorate from the Faculty of Education at the University of Pretoria. I'm greatly honored, I'm humbled, and I accept the responsibility that comes with this distinction. I dedicate this honorary degree to the countless women who came before us, our ancestors, our grandmothers, our mothers, our aunts, who paved the road and gave us our wings to soar. 
with this degree are honor our children, especially our daughters, for whom the mere act of pursuing higher education can sadly become a dear price to pay with their lives. With this degree, I honor the 130 million girls around the world, our future, for whom basic education remains elusive. I accept this honorary degree, and I challenge you, the graduates, to embrace the privilege and responsibility that comes with your graduation from this distinguished faculty of education. And I invite you to harness your collective talents for the greater good of our society. I'm grateful to my villages of support along my journey, both in my birth home of South Africa and my adopted home in the United States. I am especially beholden to those who dared to take a chance and open doors that were historically inaccessible to a young black girl and woman from a small rural town. One of the most fulfilling aspects of working in international higher education is having the opportunity to engage with and to witness students, faculty colleagues, and staff collaborate to develop innovative solutions to problems of global significance. As I reflect on the past year, the challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic and growing global movements for equality, equity, and social justice, all these reinforce the responsibilities we have and the significant contributions we can make individually and collectively. This past year has certainly not been like any we have witnessed in our recent history. And I hope what we learned from this experience is that we cannot go it alone. As we seek to address the grand challenges that face us all, we have unique opportunities to reposition institutions of higher education to be agents of transformation in our society. As future educators and graduates of one of the leading universities on the African continent, you have a unique opportunity to make your contribution towards transforming the lives of the more than 60% of youth under the age of 25 across the continent today. The projected African youth surge over the next 30 to 50 years will require strategic collaborative action from various stakeholders, not only to meet the burgeoning demand for higher education, but to assume significant responsibility to be active leaders and contributors in this changing landscape. Being cognizant that five of the nine countries where the youth surge will occur are on the African continent, we simply do not have the luxury to bask in the glory of inaction. As educators, you have the opportunity to be leaders by addressing the inaccessibility in higher education, by intentionally developing networks and policies that support and protect students of all genders, identities, and experiences, by partnering with government, NGOs, the private sector, and global as well as other strategic partners to mitigate against escalating youth unemployment. I therefore leave you today with both a charge and a challenge. The charge is to make the most of your experiences and unique perspectives you honed during your tenure at the University of Pretoria. However, as you receive your degree from this esteemed university, I challenge you to stand up and challenge injustices locally and globally. Rise up 
and challenge persistent racial and gender inequities so that our girls and women can pursue a basic human right that is education without fear and intimidation. Speak up and challenge disparities in their myriad manifestations so that your class of 2021 can be counted among those global problem solvers who dared to change the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Professor Ray Tumese Mabokela for your address. I hereby confer and award all degrees, diplomas, and certificates in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Doctor of Philosophy, Assessment and Quality Assurance in Education and Training, Prosper Zamesi. Thesis, Ghanaian Junior High School Mathematics Teacher's Experience of Assessment for Learning. Supervisor, Professor M. A. Graham. Co-Supervisor, Professor S. von Staden. Education Management, Law and Policy. Wilfred Lugemoy. Thesis. Experiences of primary school inspectors in ensuring quality teaching and learning in Northern Uganda. Supervisor, Professor S. T. Mampane. Veronica Mahari. Thesis. Contextual Intelligence for Leading and Managing Curriculum Change in Primary Schools. Supervisor, Professor R. N. Marishane. Sekhofatso Pasha. Thesis. The Transitional Experiences of South African Medical Students Returning from Cuba. Supervisor, Dr. M. A. U. Moshakwana. Assessment and Quality Assurance in Education and Training. Corin Ru. Thesis. Examining the equivalence of the PIRLS 2016 release text in South Africa across three languages. Supervisor, Professor S. Van Staden. Co-Supervisor, Professor E. J. Pretorius. Education Management, Law and Policy. Jane Serakwane. Thesis. Learner Behavior Management Practices of Teachers in Culturally Diverse Classrooms. Supervisor. Professor C. Herman. Difuzo Sepe. Thesis. A Capabilities Approach to African Women's Success in Doctoral Programs in South Africa. Supervisor. Dr. M. L. Collins, Co-Supervisor, Dr. K. S. Adeyemo. Master of Education, Nolutando Butelezi. Elrisa Clausen, with distinction. Janine Dumas Kuchling. Angela Franken. Mazia Ismail. Joalice Janse van Rensburg. Dominique Comfer with distinction. Marisa Lombard with distinction. Renel Markgraf. Cornelia Muller. Esmarie Ullerman. Rachel Olusegun with distinction. Andrea Pike. Assessment and Quality Assurance in Education and Training. Towini Angolo. Victor Nkuna. Blessing on Wara Uguno. Tefo Piri. Shani Zili with distinction. Bachelor of Education Honors. Computer Integrated Education. Deborah Chilepo, Shantae Clark, Cecilia Devet, 
Sinetemba Gumede Faria Jaffa Pilokuchle Majosi Machlatsi Maleka Samuel Mampa Dr. Mapetu Zabile Mbata Ronald Mosue Mashentri Nell Mvuyisi Nkonke Hanei Rahimi Hope Raselane Mia Ross with distinction Razak Seidu Korlia Smuts with distinction Lucas Chibambu Chantal Fulyun with distinction Tobile Aba Nubuchle Zulu Education Management Law and Policy Arisia Ares Omolemo Batabeng Marishka Buzart Lesejo Chauke Sonia Kurzen Sinoyolo Dikana with distinction Gugu Dlamini Sengani Gumiane with distinction Mandisa Jolignati Nicholas Cabini Palesa Lenguasa Chilici Ligege Candice Lucas with distinction Siabonga Mabika Michael Mabuela Dipuo Mahongwa Aubrey Mashrobojuane Posha Mahwai Pearl Makinta Tabisile Malinga Desme Manyama Tapelo Masemola Lepohang Masiteng Nozintle Nisi Tabo Mokwetli Hamantha Munsami Palesa Moshweshwe Tabang Motale Boitumelo Motau Kamukazi Msibi Chilichi Modau Sebenzile Dlela Felicia Ndlovu Amanda Gwenya Mishka Shoda Katrina Skosana Khihan Snyder Tebojo Toka Mzwake Tsotetsi Katarina Fenter Ansia Fuchel Life Sciences Education Chantal Blechnot with distinction Ingrid Holzer with distinction Verato Makunyane Cindy Matibela Mamunamo Maupa Chepo Roboham Bianca Fenter with distinction Mathematics Education Balentle Koza Tsechofazo Kunou Pekitemba Lusenga Machlatse Mabocha George Manamela Tuwaya Manioso Makarebe Mokonyana Tato Mosebi Alalisani Ntetwa Sipokazi Peter Shene Skutter with distinction Lea Skosana 
Shalmarie Stein Sydney Chova Andrea Fetter with distinction Physical Sciences Education Jimmy Mnisi Technology Education Tabiso Ndlamini Postgraduate Diploma Technical and Vocational Education and Training Willem Britz Mpo Khwete Lindelwa Khwarane Brenda Mastor Kane Maimela Mokhoshwe Maleka Deboho Mange Nomabelu Manyala Sigamla with distinction Kholofelo Mashale Shinane Masiti Nathaniel Mazisa Derek Matei Charlene Matthews with distinction Dicheni Maumela with distinction Puleng Mabungu with distinction Margarita Mayhew Ignatius Modiba with distinction Pielo Mohoto Nsateni Muleya with distinction Rachere Radile with distinction Nakampe Seloa Mutlalepula Tsotetsi with distinction Brian Yende Tandiwe Zengele Sibusisu Zondi Bachelor of Education, Further Education and Training Economic and Management Sciences Annika Klüter Khotzatso Temane Further Education and Training Human Movement Science and Sport Management Martinez de Beer Bianca Croft Further Education and Training Natural Sciences Tulusile Mashlangu Carla Nell Intermediate Phase Marona Komane Sayeshen Pariachi Tanvir Sadik Carol Shabangu Jessica Fulyun Intermediate Phase Teaching Chanel Archer Bridget Baloi Lauren Barnes Zelmarie Britz Leanne Bass Kristen Campion Nonkuleleko Chavula Celeste Cornelius Nicole Cunningham with distinction Desme De Beer with distinction Simone Dreyer Mantua Shongwane Andrea Holder Cindy Jacobs Nikita Yonker Sarah Kazi Joanne Kotze Marika Labuskachni Liska Latachon Othalia Lebodi Jordan Little Pochianko Madi Tsiamo Makofane Menet Malan Siabonga Malinga Mapeo Mamabolo Evidence Manchiri Liza Mapute Lebone Masemola Ellen Mashejo with distinction Dimpo Mashishi with distinction Carla Mays Sharut 
Moulton. Nokolo Njali, Nompumelelo Mlangeni, Ntokozo Guni, with distinction. Titsejo Modiba, Ratanang Molalatladi, Tiandra Mola, Ntatisi Motaung, Confidence Gobeni, with distinction. Sharon Ngadimeng, Thelma Nonyane, Melen Olifir, Paraskevi Prokopos, with distinction, Ompemetse Ramokopelwa, Chanik Sheffer, Simpiwe Shabangu, with distinction. Nomali Shangase Babalelo Siganunu Nomvula Sitsole Yolandi Smith Jadine Stack Odette Stienkamp Dimpo Tzabane Eleluane Teko Tamarin van der Berg, Kristen Lee van der Merwe, Lisa van der Westeisen, with distinction, Adelaide van Eden, Karika van Locherenberg, with distinction, Carly Venter, Claudia Fierrera, with distinction. Emma Fisser. Claire Whitfield, with distinction. Liani Williams. Danica Wolfart, with distinction. Postgraduate Certificate in Education. Further Education and Training Teaching. Marcella Amatucci. Jessica Elwood, Brogan Balak, Pego Baloy, Venetia Beitel, with distinction, Kelly Bissett, with distinction, Louise Buerta, Jonathan Bredenkamp, with distinction, Fortune Bulunga, Bontle Chaka, Fortunate Chauke Mardonet Kutsia Ashley Cole Belinda Dirksen Megan Dupree with distinction Ruane Erasmus Hetisani Gicha Gianel Grisel Rebecca Harler, with distinction. Karen Lee Herb. Zalama Shungwane. Tlangailani Shungwane. Kungile Obongwana. Tristan Howie. Kense Kamanyane. Walter Kambowo, Umpile Chochome, Tasnim Khan, Tlamulo Koza, Katharina Kitschow, Sonelia Kleinans, Michelle Letrochela, Lorene Liebenberg, Kayla Lotterung Sipokuchle Mabovana Trudy Mabunda Monica Madoni Damulelo Mafeneza Fumulani Magualiba Renailwe Mahafola Lefense 
Makola. Mbongiseni Makwakwa. Ian Malan. Precious Maleka. Tlangelani Maluleke. Tabelo Manenche. Matlapane Manuk. Ontlametse Marukane. Galen Marshall. Sitembele Dichwa. Sibonelo Ndluli. Tandokazi Duvana. Mansadi Melato. Katlejo Mojola. Lofense Mukwena. Relepojile Mukwena. Shalom Mokubi. Leslie Monyebori. Philip Moyo. Pearl Mpanza. Mpapi Mpeti. Nokwanda Mzezane. Nombulelo Mzomi. Johan Mtetwa. Nokubonga Mtetwa. Stabile Mchali. Nontlantla Natu. Anik Nodea. Roland Ube. Brian Ndlovu. Lichle Nene. Zwibuya Nepawe. Alicia Nyedanga. Tswarelo Nkwana. Nomtondazo Nkosi. Jabulani Nkuna. Zalama Nkuna. Tiloshni Pariachi. Nikita Pereira. Ernest Potchider. Skulk Pretorius. Robin Prinsloo. Ashley Pritchard. Masejo Putuka. Moritiri Rajate. Revival Ramaifo. Winnie Rasetsoke. Queen Rai. Nosipo Roji. Karin Rousseau. Ross Scott. Bonolo Sebocolodi. Imelda Selala. Celso Simango. Nadia Smith with distinction. Ramadimetse Teka. Klingiwe Twala. Spiwe Twala. Tandi Chabangu. Georgina van Hierden with distinction. Astra van Ikerk. Niku van Skalkwijk with distinction. Sun Yang. Senior Phase and Further Education and Training Teaching. Jessica Groz. Vusi Mabunda. Comfort Maema. Nontrebo Moza. Chauchelo Moyo. Wise Msiza. Matome Nkhanyamane. Charlotte Ramabale. Krista Small. Lynn Marie Smith with distinction. Nicole Soal. Dimpo Chale. Carly Twaddle with distinction. Achievement Awards. 
Bachelor of Education Intermediate Phase Teaching Award. Danica Wolfart. Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria.